This month, patrons of the International Military Technical Forum got a unique opportunity to finally see Boomerang up close and in action. The Boomerang is one of several new combat platforms developed by Russian armored vehicle companies over the last few years. The APC's front engine design is meant to protect the vehicle's crew and complement of troops from enemy bullets, grenades, and improvised explosive devices. This arrangement also provides for a safer and more convenient exit from the vehicle via its rear door. Moreover, the vehicle, which sits on an 8x8 wheeled suspension, is now proving its amphibious capabilities, with its 510 horsepower diesel engine allowing the 15 to 20 ton unit to nimbly navigate rugged terrain. The Boomerang is capable of swimming independently for dozens of kilometers and hitting land based targets from the water using its complement of onboard weapons. Furthermore, in accordance with the tactical and technical requirements for the vehicle demanded by the Russian Navy, the Boomerang must be fully compatible with Russia's latest high speed hovercraft and landing ships. Military experts expect the Boomerang to become a universal combat platform capable of solving a wide range of military tasks. This is line with Russian armored vehicle maker's broader doctrine of modular vehicle design, designed when cross compatibility, interchangeability, and wide configurability in mind. In the Navy, the Boomerang's missions will include amphibious troop landing, fire support, and ground engagement. Alexander Krasovitsky, General Director of the Military Industrial Company, the developer of the vehicle, told his bestia on the sidelines of Forum. In the amphibious mode and from aboard landing craft, the Boomerang be able to fire using all of its onboard weapon systems against coastal targets. Krasovitsky also added, the exact form of the vehicle is still being finalized according to the customer's requirements, so it's too early to speak in more detail about its capabilities. Vadim Kazulin, military expert and professor at the Academy of Military Sciences, pointed out that the Navy's plans also include the construction of a series of new large Lavina amphibious assault ships. These ships will be able to deliver up to 60 light armored vehicles to shore, dropping them off either via their boat or with the help of speedy smaller landers. With this in mind, it's only logical that the Boomerang be fully compatible with the Lavina. The Boomerang's amphibious capabilities are provided by its sealed armored hull design, together with two rear-mounted jet propellers placed behind the vehicle's wheels. They provide the 20-ton APC with a maximum speed of about 6.5 knots over the water. Testing of the base model of the Boomerang is expected to wrap up later this year.